my dear friend welcome back to the channel very good morning to you wherever you are on the globe especially on the continent of africa in europe in america in canada australia or right here in southeast asia ladies and gentlemen you are highly welcome to saturday morning edition yes it is saturday morning well tomorrow sunday with the game chelsea liverpool or liverpool chelsea because we are going away to liverpool so it's gonna be Liverpool, Chelsea at the Anfield. Dear friends, it's going to be a cracker. Cracker. Indeed, cracker. <laughs> you see, our head coach yesterday spoke at length. And some of the things that he said, I will bring in some of those things right here for you. And I will explain further. And I would also like to hear from you, your opinion. Preparation towards the game tomorrow. We have a full squad available. In a session of those that are suspended, yes, in a session of players that are suspended, as uh, Kukurela and uh, Fofana, yes, in a session of those two, the rest are off feet. Rhys James is back and he's strong, dear friends. But let me, I'll be talking about some positions in this very special morning edition. And I would like us to analyze it because as we have a full, fully fit squad, and all the players are informed. Remember, our coach made it clear that it is not because you played in the FA Cup or you played in the League Cup or you were in the Conference League, so you don't have the opportunity to play in the Premier League. Be in the Premier League or be a player that plays all the Premier League games does not make you the better option or the better player compared to those who are already playing in the Premier League. So it means that your performance with the in a conference league will determine whether the next game in the Premier League will be playing based on your performance. Well, dear friends, once again, a very good morning to you guys all out there. Like you can see, today I have a studio audience. I have never a panelist. <laughs> yeah, the young man Titi is right here with me. And I'll be sharing some thoughts with him. I would like to be hearing his opinion one or two things. He's just a young man, 11 years old. Titi, you are welcome to the studio. Great. Now, we are starting right away. Tactically, I want to talk about Nicola Jackson. Briefly, tactically, what do you make of Jackson compared to Christopher Nkuku? Which one of them do you think Enzo America should use against Liverpool? Let me, let's start from there. I personally think that tactically, Jackson is a better choice than Christopher Nkuku. Why? What makes you what? Why do you think tactically against a team like Liverpool? Can you tell us why you think? Because in my opinion, I think he's played more games than Christopher Nkuku. He played more games. Chelsea. Okay. Well, you see, he played more games. And yes, I understand it. Tactically, that's the actual word. He said tactically, he believed that Jackson is better fit. In a game against Liverpool. And I agree with him also when it comes to that. Tactically, because if you look at Christopher Nkuku, he can play between the spaces, in between the spaces, in between the spaces. But if you want a player that can take defenders like uh, Van Dijk on with speed. Because definitely, Liverpool, they are going to be pressing high. They are going to be pressing high. And you see, Mareska not using Nkuku as a striker in our game against Forest is a reflection of exactly what, she, what he's saying. Mareska not using Nkuku against Forest is just a reflection of what he's saying. And, and my views also is the same on Jackson. Plus, he's clearly going to build continuity in the squad. So I believe that Enzo Mareska will be using Christopher, I mean, Nicola Jackson again, because there has to be a continuity, continuity in the squad. If changes we made at all in a front lineup, maybe just one, just one. And I'm looking at Sancho area. That is the only area we think the coach might make a change. But like he, like he said, you, are, you, are, you also agree with me that Jackson is a better fit choice compared to right yes. compared to Nicola uh, uh, Christopher Nkuku. Okay, now 
In that case, Enzo Mareska himself, when talking yesterday, dear friends, he said, I didn't know how or why the injuries were piling up last season. But now everyone is fit except the suspended players. Sunday's game won't define where we are as a team. It's just one day that will make us see where we need to improve. Because every game in the EPL is tough. Every game in the EPL is tough. Liverpool, we all know, they are now like they are leading a league table. Liverpool are leading a league table. Chelsea are on fourth position. Now, first and fourth, the gap is not much. Right? What are your expectations? As a Chelsea fan, what is your expectation going into the game? Do you see Chelsea? Playing draw, or do you see Chelsea winning the game, or do you see Liverpool winning against Chelsea? If I, I may get your opinion on that, I think that more likely that Chelsea will either draw or win the game. Chelsea will either draw or win the game. That is what you think. Chelsea will either draw or win the game. That would be a great thing, dear friends. You, you heard it all from the young man, 11, the eleven-year-old. He said he thinks Chelsea will play a draw. Or win the game. I will not go into the scoreline, predicted line. I will not go into the scoreline. But then we are moving on. This is we are only discussing all that our head coach Enzo Mareska had said yesterday in a press conference. Chelsea head coach Enzo Mareska speaking on the trip to Liverpool, and he made it very clear. Like I said, all of our players are available. Zero injuries, and it's absolutely a miracle. It is a miracle at this point in time. So I am excited that right now we are injury free. We are injury free. One person that also spoke was Anslot, Liverpool head coach, speaking to the press also regarding Chelsea. He said many things about Chelsea. But one interesting aspect of what he said is that he said if you look at the league table, it is the biggest challenge so far. Who is the biggest challenge? Chelsea are the biggest challenge so far. He said Chelsea does really well. So if you look at the league table, then they are the ones that might be our toughest opponent. Liverpool head coach says that Chelsea are the ones that are going to be their toughest opponent looking at Chelsea right now on the league table and their performance. He said, but it's not always about the league table. Sometimes it's about the form of the day. It's about their game plan, but it is a challenge, that's for sure. Coming from Anslot, the Liverpool new head coach. You remember, there is also a new coach. Yes, he's the new coach for Liverpool. Jürgen Klopp is gone and Anslot has taken over. Dear friend, all right. It is your breakfast. How do we take much of your time? You see, we've gotten a new set of, you know, we are still improving, like I told you. Yeah, it looks like we are more comfortable in our studio now than ever. And we are going to be upgrading, we continue to upgrade daily. But I keep encouraging you, subscribe to the channel and join. If you subscribe, the join button is there. Please join the channel, help us to grow. A little bit of coins, it will, you know, will push us you know, a bit far. So help us by joining the channel. There are members only exclusive videos that you can watch when you join the channel, dear friends. All right. Speaking about Rhys James, our captain, he is back. He is fit. And our head coach has this to say about him. Finally, our players are available. No injury. Also, Rhys James has returned as part of the group. Rhys James has returned as part of the group. Everyone in the squad is available, apart from the suspended players no injuries Riz James is back then he continued Riz each issue needs to be managed he cannot play every game he cannot play two games in a week according to our head coach Riz James cannot play two games in a week the situation will have to be managed one game per week so it's very likely that we are going to be seeing with James in tomorrow's game. In the absence of uh, Fofana and Mekukrela, it's very, very likely we might see with James 
starting the game tomorrow against Liverpool. But, but he might not play the full 90 minutes. Yes, he might not play the full 90 minutes. I'm excited to see Rich James coming back. I'm excited to see him coming back. Yes. You see, our head coach, Enzo Mareska, yesterday, he said something that actually, to some extent, it amazed me. Speaking about our games we played so far, he made a statement in regards to the games we played and the best game so far. And he made mention of the game we lost against Liverpool. He made mention of the game that Chelsea lost, I mean, against Man City, our first game of the season. Our coach, Enzo Moresca, said his choice for Chelsea's best game of the season was the 2-0 loss to Man City. And he added that he added that that was the only chance he's had to start with Casado, Enzo Fernandez, and Romeo Lavia together due to the latest injury. Now, this is what he said: the best game we played, that according to our head coach, was when he played all three of these players: Enzo Fernandez, Mois Casado, and Romeo Lavia together. I want to hear from you, young man. Titi, yes. What is your own opinion? Do you think against Liverpool, now all three are available? Moise Casado, Romeo Lavia, Enzo Fernandez, they are all available. Which of the partnership would you want? Do you want Lavia, Casado, Enzo, Lavia, or you want, you prefer all three? Let me hear you, get your opinion on that. What do you think? I would want Moses Casado and uh Romeo Lavia together, but if we can get all three, then that would also be fine. Oh, you prefer you prefer uh, Romeo Lavia and Casado as double pivot, I believe. But if we can make use of all three at the same time in the squad, if we are to make use of all three in the squad, what that will also mean is, mean is that one of one of Copama or Madreke might be missing out. If we are going to play all three, it means we are playing uh, Enzo as eight. I mean, as ten, sorry, as ten. It means we are going to be playing Enzo as ten. Because if we have double pivot, and we have to go with a lone striker, Jackson in front, that means Enzo Fernandez will be acting like Deep eight, let me use the word deep eight, not even ten. Yes, deep eight ahead of them. Then we can have, how uh, do you call it, the two wingers before the striker. Now, when we do that, dear friends, what that will also imply is that we will be lacking creativity up front. We will lack creativity up front. I understand Moise Casado loves to move to go forward a little. But he going forward a little means that Romeo, uh, Romeo Lavia will have the, 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 the DM, the defensive midfield. He'll be the one in charge of that back, sitting in front of the, the, uh, uh, the defenders. Like you make clear, you prefer Romeo Lavia and Casado to start. I think. In my opinion, dear friends, in my opinion, that should be the best option. Enzo Fernandez right now can be benched. I would prefer that Enzo Fernandez is benched instead of playing all three. You, you, your, in your opinion, all three is okay, but I would prefer Enzo Fernandez to be benched. We had a double pivot of Romeo Lavia and Casado. Then we can get a creative player. A creative player up front to play the 10 row, which Kopama is perfectly available for that. Kopama is perfectly available for that as our number 10. On the right flank, one of Pedro Neto or Noni Madreke. On the left, one of Moidrick or Sancho. I am not doing my team prediction like, like yet, but we are just trying to analyze. The game coming up against Liverpool. And we will come back. I'll be here tomorrow before the game. Three hours to the game. And I'll give you my predicted lineup. 
Uh, we are just trying to analyze the availability of the players. What to expect from Enzo Maresca in a team. My young man Titi says that he will prefer all three. I said I'll prefer two. Which is all not bad. Because even our own head coach, dear friends, our head coach says the day you use you make use of all three, that was the game he felt was the best game ever. Chelsea's best game ever. And we lost that game, remember, against Man City. Hey, I I if you watch the previous video, it is very clear in my previous video that every of the games we played so far with Enzo Fernandez, we ended up losing. I mean, not every, but about Chelsea won just about 33, 32.3% of games that Enzo was involved in. 32.3%. If you have not watched the first video, please go back and watch that first video. 33, 32.3%. All right? So make sure you watch that video. Yes, make sure that you watch that video. Dear friends, all right. Rhys James' body currently can't play twice a week, according to our coach. It's complicated when you get injury, injury, injury. You are always looking for a solution. And so one game a week, this is the solution, according to our head coach. Before we go this morning, dear friends, before we go, before, we, before I let you go, pre-match analysis, Liverpool, Chelsea is what I'm trying to uh, break down for you. I'm not, I've not done the full analysis yet. I'll be back with the full analysis later in the day. But you see, Liverpool is currently the best performing team in the league. Liverpool is the best, currently the best performing team in the Premier League. And Chelsea faced them on Sunday. We are facing them on Sunday. We are only trying to see, or I'll be going deeper in my next episode, and I'll try to see the style of play, our weaknesses and Liverpool's strength and their weaknesses, how Chelsea will have to set up to give themselves the best chance of winning the game tomorrow. Dear friends, it is your breakfast and I will not take much of your time. I will be leaving. But remember, remember, tomorrow's game is a very big one at Anfield. A lot is happening right now at Cobham. So let me leave you here because it's your breakfast. I'll be back with more exclusives and exclusives in the coming hours. I'll see you when you see me, dear friends. Shalom and peace.